Uh, camera setting. Face. On face. There we go. Okay. All right, let me share the, my stream. All right, so I got the link copied and now all I gotta do is just stream the... Alexa, stop. Thank you, but no, I got this covered from here. Love instead of live, that's funny. My God, no. All right, there we go. Now all I gotta do is add this to the playlist, which is right here. And I just gotta edit the thumbnail and we are good to go. Oh, I gotta say, it's good to be back on Fallout 4, man. Alright, custom thumbnail that I customize, which is this one. Now time to get the chat set up on my phone. I gotta make sure to share the live stream on every part just so that way, that way I don't have to worry about it. Instagram, I gotta share it, and then... We are ready to go, dude. We are ready to go. Oh, I forgot one more thing, dude. I actually did forget one more thing. Snap. I 
forgot to grab one more thing too. Oh my lord. Why am I never prepared for this kind of journey? Come on, phone, work with me. Phone, no. Come on. My phone's being a piece of crap, y'all. Hang on. Okay, so there we go. Oh, my phone's being a piece of crap. Come on now, phone. Work. All right, everything's set up and ready to go. There we go. Let's get this started in three, two, one. What is up, you guys? The Blue Jay Player here, and welcome to a another, like, I don't want to say another, but I want to say welcome back to Fallout 4, the, vi the game that I started it all on my channel, that started myself, actually. I haven't done Fallout 4 since 2016 of November. The reason why I stopped is because my PS4 went into rest mode. Xbox 360 have mods. Oh my god, shut up, let alone. <laughs> okay, so a while back, I did a live stream of this game. Only did two parts until my PS4 went to save mode. I lost everything because of it, so I was unable to complete the series. Now, a minute later, my brother, little low, in the chat right now, recommended this game to me. So, for that, this is this is for little low gamer also known as retro completionist so yeah this is all for him that since he recommended it and just so you know there is no mods enabled i made sure all that was disabled i got two the only add-ons i have is far harbor and nuka world those are the two add-ons i only have and hello cup bowl which is caitlin what is up so without further ado we're going to start a new journey a new series Involving Peter Diamond, A Soldier of War, Part 1. Let's go. Wonder why it's taking so long to load. Normally it loads up fast. And again, that's PC. And this is PS4, so who knows? Bethesda Studio Game Bethesda Game Studios presents Fallout 4. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. 
Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, It's that war, war never changes. And that is a true fact that war never changes no matter what. War never changes. You're going to knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, this is when I'm gonna take my time to make this character because I'm putting a whole lot on the line. So, extras, markings, face. Oh, hair. Let's do the hair first. That's the one I got to real focus on here. So, I'm making a character that I just randomly found, which I think is pretty interesting. So, let's see if I can uh, nail his hairstyle. He's got, like, this one hairstyle. No, no, no. What does his hairstyle look like? Okay. This is what I really got to nail out of the park. What was this one? Sleek and sleazy. Mm, no, that don't match him. Oh, that looks good, actually. That actually looks identical. Nice. I, Did you get a haircut? Warm black. And... What is this? Is that what red really looks like? Like, seriously, is that what red literally... Go, guys, look at that! Is, is that literally what red looks like? Someone explain to me right now in the chat, is that what... If y'all can, if not, well, do a conference call so I can explain things to y'all. That is between you two. I'm literally trying to figure it out. Anyways, does no one notice that his that hair? That hair ain't red. That is like orange. It's hard for me to explain. I'm gonna go with ginger. Because that kind of looks identical to the... No. That actually looks identical. Let me take it out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the Arban. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Arbin. This new haircut's really working for me. And I'm gonna guess the eye color for him because I have no idea. Um, hmm. There's a such thing as steel. What in the world? There's a such thing as steel eye color. I'm gonna go with that. The light brown looks sick. Hmm. Such pretty eyes. Facial hair. 
He has no facial hair, that is for sure. He is clean. Look at it. Look at that young man. <laughs> that is Peter Diamond for you. I'm not sure. I'm sure I'm not doing anything this weekend, so I could come over. Well, that's the thing, Caitlin. You don't realize I have to stay home because Dad, because I have to be with Dad for the two weeks. Because Lauren is not here. Lauren and Mom doesn't want me going anywhere. Damn. You gotta realize I ain't. I ain't able to. S I'm actually going to go with this. I'm actually going to go with the skin he has right now because that actually looks identical to him. Eyebrows have no... Maybe I'll match it. That is not what I'm going... Can I not change my eyebrows? What the heck? Whatever. We'll, have, we'll figure it out after the stream. Okay. Extras. Since he been, he's been in a war before, I'm getting him to where he has damages, like, on... I'm actually gonna go with a... Oh! Oh, dude! That looks like, um... Oh, that looks like, um... Evil Within. When that, I don't know if you've seen Evil Within's one, like, cover on the game, where they have the barbed wire on their face. That looks horrifying. Ah! I'm going to go with the right stitches, because that looks like he came from a war, and he got s scratched so badly by glass or something, that it messed him up so badly. So I'm going to go with the right stitches. Yeah, not bad. Where is... Where's the right stitches? So handsome. I ain't picking that. Whatever. Oh, I have to... Uh, oh, I have to apply. Okay. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Markings... Oh, this is like, uh, freckles. Let me see if there's anything for the left. Uh, there is no- There is nothing- Well, there is that little brow cut thing on his eye. Um... We could do something with that. Alright. Nice. Oh. Very strapping. Alright, we're ready to go. This is basically what he looks like after the war. I can't do much, but that's what he looks like after the war, so... Yes, confirm character. Yahoo! Auto-saving. Right now. Thanks, Kazuwe. Of course, sir. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Hmm. More the same. This is crazy. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. 
Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Oh, need to finish making Sean's costume. Hun. We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? It's gonna be 52 degrees on Monday. Hmm. I really don't know. Oh, yeah, here. I gotta go to the door. Can you get that? It's Good morning. Vault Tech calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some Ow, my finger. That's all. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Alright, now, is Retro here? Because I'm gonna need him to, uh, help me out, because, now, there is one that I'm gonna, he tells me to pick. I think it's Charisma. Retro, if you're here, which one do you pick in Fallout? Because I remember you used to pick one specific one for, um, Fallout, when you used to play Fallout. If you're there, I need you to tell me. I think it was Charisma. I'm not sure. Because charisma is the ability of your charm to convince others. It affects your success to persuade in dialogue and prices when you are barter. I think it was charisma. I'm not sure. I think it was charisma. I'm going to go with charisma because it helps you persuade better. I really don't know. So, max my charisma. Now, everything else I'm going to just smack them like this one by one. And there we go. Oh, I forgot to put the name. Peter Diamond. There we go. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey. It's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Peter, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Come in, Sean. Hey, buddy. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, it's so cool. Guy. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to oh. the park for a bit. There's a glitch. The weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Uh oh. Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. 
Uh-oh. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my uh -oh. God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. This is not good. See, that's what I don't get, is that how did they just find out about the nuclear bombs right as soon as your character gets done talking to Sean? Like, like you that's what I don't get. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. You two, God follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? everything we can. Now keep moving. It's that time of year again. Yep. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god. Hold on. That gives me chills, because just imagine if your character didn't make it. Like, imagine if your character didn't make that. That'd be like something you'd just be like, oh my god. Like, I don't ex I don't understand how they find out about the nuclear thing, and then that happens. Like, that's just crazy. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we don't, don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Vault oh. is here for you. Just this way, please. Please proceed this way. in an orderly fashion. This way, please. Step over to the table and take a seat. You'll need your seats uh, before we can take the Thanks. Turn. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Just came to check on you. See? To check out. I'm returning to Forza Horizon 4. See ya. You all, oh, you always all about the Forza this Horizon Four. Our most but yeah, take care, Corporal. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Here you are. Head down the hall there. It's gone. Over there. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. How, how long do you think we'll be down here? I know this. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we need to get through. First off, the vault the suit is designed in. to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Oh, I'm really not looking forward to this. I'm really contaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. I don't want to, I'm not looking at that one, I'm not looking at that scene. It's so gruesome to me, I just don't want to look at it.
I'm not looking up because there's a reason and I don't like the scene at all. This is like, this is like literally one of my most favorite, not this favorite, least favorite. I'm just gonna have to take off my headphones for a little bit just so I don't hear it because I don't like that scene. That is why. I just don't understand why they have to make it where if you pick one of these characters, they get shot like that. Like, that's just so messed up. like that scene one bit. That is literally my least favorite scene of this game. Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get shot back. I promise. The scene what... Just seeing that, it's just like, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Ew. Red roaches. I remember them things from freaking Fallout 3, dude. And supposedly the new Fallout 76, which I don't discuss. Which I'm not going to discuss on here because we're mainly focusing on this game. I love the fact I just killed that rat roach. Giant roaches? What the hell? Alright, there's probably some weapons here I just need to grab. Later I'll come in here to grab the rest of the junk. Right now, I don't need all this. There's got to be a weapon in here. I know there should be. Or is that not the case around here? What happened here? Where is everyone? I love how I'm killing them with my bare fist, and I haven't found a single weapon yet. Alright. Stim packs! Nice! That's what I'm gonna need. Now we got some weapons! Is this all that's left? I see the Overseer's terminal. I need to turn on the computer, I, I don't like that, uh, gra the little things. Uh, display. No, that's not it. That's the kind of blue I actually like right there. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Vault. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on aware human subjects. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic con con kinder 
Condor pulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by vault -Tec technicians. Under no circumstances is suspension to be disrupt disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your stuff is also considered expendable in subordination or attempts to evacuate permanent per prematurely or cap capital, capital violence violations. Jeez, I'm having a hard time saying these things. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for candivere disposal. Which is basically that's it, I'm guessing. Cry till later. I've long dreamed of making chronic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryo later is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we are we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components. I need to tinker the pro with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for all the clear signal. So yeah, I'm gonna be basically reading all this so that way I can get the whole like story of why everything's messed up. Operations protocol manual. Residence admittance. Upon activation notice from vault -Tec, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist the maintenance of vault residents. Security personnel will, will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to the design chronic cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detain forcibly by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any Dantini's vault entryway must sealed under any circumstances. Hello, yo. What's up, Minion God? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Glad you can make it. Under any circumstances. So I'm guessing they basically was like trying to test on them, make sure they got the chemicals were off of them, but it backfired somehow. For what it seems like. Staff duties. Science staff. Members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of chronogenically preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has per perished while in chronic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Sup man, how are you? Been good, been good minion god. How have you been? I hope you're having a wonderful day, man. And must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to overseer discretion. So I guess they're commanded by the uh, overseer, basically. Secure personnel. Security personnel. Security patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight-hour rotation. Pretty good. Let's go to here, Minion God. Secure priorities include. Monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement regulations set forth by the Overseer, enforcement of regulations set forth by vault -Tag. Well, they got, like, some easy jobs there. Due to the nature of Bolt 111, personnel will be expected to perform duty outside of their normal qualifications, just such as gen gen janitorial duties and food preparation. The extract distribution of these roles is left to overseer discretion. All clear and evacuation. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, vault -Tec will monitor hazards such as radi radiation levels, enemy invasions, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Factors. I've been a fan since you were still doing a voice with Angry Birds team. Really? That's cool. I I used to work with him, but then he's decided to, like... I mean, we're still friends. It's just he decided to, like, move on and doing his own animation, which I completely understand. Following a nuclear event, vault -Tec will honor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, all tech personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard. Disregard any notice from organizations or individuals not associated with vault -Tec, including government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. vault -Tec will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff have been evacuated. 
So the so the staff gets evacuated first and not the people? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we're still friends. It's just he's mainly focused on the new channel, which is Notebird, where he basically focuses on music and stuff, and then he's got his other channel where he does animation now instead of working on the Angry Birds team, which I need to remove him from my, my channel thing now since he doesn't work on that channel at his new channel, but I'll figure it out. Mandatory shelter, period. Well, 11, 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting an all -clear, the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear message from vault the overseer may elect to, ev to evacuate staff at a, after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of a cont containment. Under no cir circumstance may Vault 111 staff evacuate during the shelter period unless receiving the all clear message from Voltec. So I'm guessing they couldn't evacuate at all until Voltec said something. Overseer's log. Preparations. The final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in the sanctuary house have been enrolled and several from Concord as well. Voltec supervisors came out this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to be open. To open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. It was good while it lasted, but hey, not everything lasts forever. I understand I always supported y'all, and I will still, and I will still, even if I don't know some of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you still support us and stuff. It's just, even though we don't do a whole bunch of, a bunch of stuff together, me and him were just still talking as friends, no matter what, because he's my, my buddy since 2017 when I first met him. When he did the, when we did a uh, Cars 3 trailer reaction together, when we did all that, he's been my friend ever since, since 2017, and it'll never change. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness, the notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. So I'm guessing she, she, he or she, that owns this vault was basically seeing the same thing as the over as the people was October 23rd it's happened we are we were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through we had less noticed than expected but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance residents and minutes went smoothly everyone made it even the family that waited until the last minute I was worried there would be more suspicion but things happen so fast for these people they must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenetic pods systems malfunction strange issue today with c with pod c3 subject appeared to be having heart palpitations nothing life-threatening but unusual we realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning the chronic array almost started thawing her out we were not sure but i expect i suspect a hiccup in vault remote override systems may have sent an errant signal we'll keep we'll have to keep an eye out I only hope that their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. So I'm guessing the system malfunction started malfunctioning. Supplies running low. There's been no all clear signal yet, even though we are nearing the end of the 100 day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that. And despite my best efforts, that my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 100 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would have, would still be poetic enough to fry everyone. If the vault seals are breached that early, the whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep, keep everything under control until the all clear. You tiny. A fraction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consulting. That's good, but if you see Nate, then tell him I said hi and glad I met y'all. But sorry I came such a so short notice, but you guys are awesome, so bye and have a great have a great rest of the, your day. I definitely will tell Nathan you said hi, Manyagon. I will definitely tell him you said hi. So that way... He knows you, so that way he knows that we have a fan of ours. CC, what's up, TT ninety two EM? Welcome to the stream. 
I'm consulting the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We are going to have a to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. So it started going crazy. Open evacuation tunnel. The re re personal evacuation tunnel is now open. Reminder. Remind all staff to be orderly and follow shutdown protocols before exiting and resealing while 111. What's up, Ricky? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, TT90? Please maintain all staff records and research report to your local Boltec superiors before debriefing and further instruction instructing. So I'm guessing that after after a while, it started going a little crazy. Bobby pins. I'm gonna need a bunch of that if I'm going to, uh... I need to come down here later when my lockpicking skills is perfect. That's a nice gun there. But we're not worried about that right now. So I'm guessing what happens is, is that they were... The overseer was making sure everything was going to plan, but then it backfired after malfunctioning, and I guess the, what she said, the security turned her ba their backs on her, or him, whoever it, it was. Hmm. Whoa. You're dead. Boom! On the first try, too! There we go. Well then. So yeah, I'm guessing that's what it's all about. There we go. No, they all died because of, because for what you killing what you are killing right now. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? More round ammo. More ammo. There's a bunch of ammo down here in the vault. I'm not going out yet because that's not where I want to go. Red roaches. All right, let's look around look real quick before I leave. I want to make sure I got everything in this place. Monitoring terminal. Terminal. Chronic arrays. Chronic array. Offline, premiered show termination resulting in the system failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides detected. Controls disabled. Life support. Life support offline, premiered show termination resulting in system failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides detected. Controls failed. The bugs is what killed them. Okay, so the, so the rad roaches were responsible. Mr. Petro. Deceased. Cause of death. Exprosimation due to life support failure Cindy Coffrin cause of de deceased cause of death expressimation de due to life support failure Miss Whitefield dang so they all died from life support failure wow dude I can't believe all of them actually died from life support failure. Like, failed. That's insane. I swear there was a built- there was an area where you could find a baton. I thought there was like a like- an area where you could find like a baton. I think it's in this section. Like- 
Yeah, I think it's in here. Yeah, this is it. I think this is it. I'm not sure. Um, cigarette, nothing. Security terminal. Let's see what's in here. Confendal. Voltec is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on aware. Human subject security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Sub subordination or interference with vault operations are compatible capital defense offenses. Security staff are author authorized to use lethal force. Operations protocol manual. I've read all that. Security logs. Uh, October 23rd, 2077. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't keep it eggheads trying to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment for a better future or something. I don't know. It's just it just doesn't seem right that we're smiling at them all that all that time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we told them something? Christmas Underground got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had little part, little party. Best gift that got handed out was a fancy lad ca snack cake that wasn't too stale. But none of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. They are hi they're hiding something from us. Another company secret only for the higher ups. What whatever. Just a few more months until the all clear is supposed to come through. Then we can start rebuilding. March 14, 2078. Only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir crazy. Some people are even saying the all clear signal is never is not coming. It's never coming. It's never coming. I think that's what it said. Yeah, it's never coming. We can't stay here much longer. That's for sure. It's just it's not just the fact that I've been starting at staring at the same break room and bunk bed for the, over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months. Tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient. Focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on. I just know it. So it is a he. So the overseer was a he. April 23rd, 2078. The main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel how convenient for him he has one of the science team watching the door to his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint got invited to a meeting tonight support support staffers and security only sounds like sound like i'm not the only one with the when an extra grind are you talking about the security stick on the table just outside the door yes Last entry. No all clear from vault is coming. We need to leave. We are all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a dang salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening the vault. I never knew a man that small could sh shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the staff. With the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicines we have by tonight, or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. So that's how everything went crazy, was because the vaults because the security because we were they were running out of food. So I'm guessing that's why everything went so horribly. Oh there it is. Woohoo! Found it! Now we're good. Woohoo! I'm happy now. Okay, I think I've looked for everything in this cave. I think I've looked at everything. So this is the, so this is when you first get the vault, I mean, not the vault, the, uh, the, uh, freaking Pip Boy. Yeah, almost messed up there. 
<laughs> um, one last check around before we go out, before we go on out, because I want to make sure I got everything in here. Well, I think we should have everything. So we went in the overseer's office. We went over there. I think we're done. I tell you, it's just outside the door. See, I remember it was outside somewhere, but thank God we found it. I think, and if we miss something later, I could just always come back in here. I think. Let's do this. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Godly, it's good to be back after all these years, man, on Fallout 4. Just look at that. Just look at that, man. You don't see that at all. I need to save some ammo because we're going to rarely find any ammo in this game because... I just want to walk slow just so I can hear that. Alright. It is time we head out. There's our exit. To the... Parts of unknown. Let's see what the world looks like out there. Nope. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. So that's. So I'm guessing they pretty much went crazy in, vault, in the Vault 111. Let's see what the surface has to show. Give me some of that Stimpex, because we're going to need a bunch of that if we're going to survive. Wow, dude. It feel... That's what I thought, because I remember I remember someone said something that you could come back into the vault. You could come back into the Vault 111 to get something once you uh gone through what you need to go through. All right, let's, tre let's check right over here and see if we can find anything before we head into Sanctuary. More ammo. Cram. Now there's something I will confess is that why didn't um why didn't um Bethesda added like an eating thing like they did in Fallout 76. Why didn't they add it in Fallout 4? Knowing if they could do that. Like, that's what I don't get. Is that you can eat and drink in Fallout 76, and it has the same mechanics as Fallout 4, but why didn't Fallout 4 get that mechanic? I would like an answer to that, actually. Oh yeah, Ricky, just so you know, this is what I got for uh, special-wise. My charisma's all the way up so I can barter and persuade a lot better, because if I don't, I'm not going to be able to persuade no one. Welcome to Sanctuary. Wow, Cosworth's still alive. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Cosworth. What happened to the world? The world, sir? Well, besides our geraniums still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, 
I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Dak. Where is your better half, by the by? She's... in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so. What is charades? <laughs> is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Doesn't matter how long it's been. I feel fine. A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> What in the Can't world, Codsworth? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I, I, oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed. Rest. <laughs> Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well... Everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, it makes me want to hug Codsworth so I'm badly, because Codsworth... we search the neighborhood together, the missus and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. Oh... Makes me just want to hug Codsworth. It's so funny. Oh snap, dude! Cosworth, because he thinks your family is really not dead, but poor Cosworth. Picking up it... hostile life signs. Not this time. Poor Cosworth. He thinks your family's not dead, but he doesn't really know that they are. I feel bad, dude. Uh, well, I suppose there's plenty more when... Mr. Peter, your, your family isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure... I'm back from Forza, then in well. What did you do, Corporal? What did you do to mess up... To, uh... For it to not end so well. Let's see. Bottle, pit, bobble, 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 bobble,
bobble pins. Alright, this is a novice. I've learned so much how to. Ooh! Boom! Nice. Alright, we got. Okay, so we gotta. Hmm. Let's take a look at the two pistols and compare them. This one does 18. The pipe does 13. So, the pipe could be good to sell. So I'm gonna keep it so I can sell for, my, for some caps. Um, anything else in this house? Right then. We're gonna go... I'm curious if that book is still there. The book you get... That you see it. The race was heavily rain and my Lamborghini Evador wasn't designed to handle. See, that's the thing. With environment... Oh. Nice. It is here! I was right! Anyways, environments like that, Corporal, your Lamborghini is f too fast, so it wouldn't work out anyways. What is that? Get some more sugar bum bombs and Coca Nuka Cola. Bread, cranberry juice, cake, uh, let laundry soap, bleach, dish soap, ha have H A V A C not working right now. Right again, call repairman. What in the world? Never seen that before. That's really new. Codsworth. Mr. Handy Fuel. Yes, give me all that. And what's funny, this is the. This is not it, I don't think. Wait a minute, where is it? Oh, yeah, this is it. It just feels so different. Okay, this is the bathroom we were in. Let's see if we can search in here. Right away. Mm. Right away. We got right away on the first try. Nice. So yeah, while I'm doing this kind of adventure thing, I'm just going, I'm going to interact with y'all. So if you guys got any questions while I free roam, please, please do ask. I would love to talk to y'all while I'm doing this. All right, so we just, I'm going to continue checking these houses while I'm here because I want to make sure I can grab everything before I leave. Yo, what's this? Aha, a cat stash. Noise. What a noise. Nothing in the fridge. Um. There's a basement entrance somewhere in Sanctuary. Yes, you are right, Corporal. There is a basement sanctuary in uh, Sanctuary Hills. Normally, people would like to make this their own base here. This little house over here is what they would make their base. This time, but what I'm going to do is going to be a lot different. I'm making my base across the street because that is where uh, you you start the house at. This is going to be like some sort of like survivor house, like you know where people could live and stuff. Check the house. Check the backyard. Clean black suit. Oh. Let me wear it. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Um. Why do I have two wedding rings? Oh, right. Okay, I get it now. Alright, let me see how I look. Ooh, I actually look nice in that. I'm actually gonna wear that for a little bit. Don't mind me. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna keep looking around and I'm gonna go to the... I'm gonna look in the backyards of the houses, so definitely need to keep that in mind. All right, it's not back here. The dog bowl here. That's not it. I think I was just right over here. There's a dog house here. I think I was here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I was here. Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Stupid rad roaches. Ugh. Disgusting little frickers. 
And I am doing a Nuka Cola collection. So there is going to be a bunch. Every journey I do, I'm collecting a bunch of Nuka Cola bottles. So. Yeah. There's going to be a bunch of Nuka Cola bottles in my. Again! Stimpaks and Rataways! Nice! I'm going to need it if we're going to be dealing with some radiation and stuff. Suitcase. Boom. Sweet. Dirty tan suit. Nothing important in there. Um, anything else in this house? Nah, not really. We're good. So yeah, we're pretty much sca scavenging for a bunch of supplies. And this is the house I was in. I wasn't. Okay, that's it. Okay, I get it now. All right, let me check the. Actually, let me check the backyard of this house. That basement might be there. Oh no, this one's got no basement. It's got a chemistry station. Okay. One of these have a basement, but I'll check it later. Stupid Brad Roach. Turn here. Anything in this fridge? Nope. Bottle. Sad to see Commonwealth nuked. It takes place a few days before Halloween, aka the Blood Blood Fest. I know, right? But what that that's, that's the funniest thing. They don't talk about the Angry Birds in this the Angry Birds at all, which is kind of hilarious. Bobby pins? Hmm. So the goal plan is I'm going to practice my lock picking skills, see if I can get a lot better. I am going to be doing a lot of work in these houses. Uh, nothing back here. I think I was in this house. I think this is the house across from the street. I don't think I was in this house. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any houses because otherwise people are going to call me out and be like, you missed the house, dude. Literally right there. I'm like, okay. Well, I don't want to get called out. Just the same blub blub for reference, of course. I know you too well. Alright, let me actually loot some of these over houses over here and check the backyards over here. Maybe they might have it. I didn't check it. I don't think- yeah, I didn't check this house. And a new Coca-Cola bottle right there waiting, dude. That's funny. So how's your day, Corporal? Doing? How's your day doing, bro? Hope you're doing a great. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, Novus, safe. Oh, wait, wait. Oh man, one broken bobby pin. That's okay. We're not all perfect. Oh yeah. Got it. Okay, this one does thirteen, so I could sell that for money. Stim pack. Wait. Oh, it's, it gives you money? I've been skipping that the whole time. Okay. And I also need to keep an eye on that then. Glad to hear you're doing good, Corporal. Hope your day continues to be very smooth, man. Formal, oh, formal hat. Oh la la, yeah, here we go. Where is it? Better nice. Yeah, I'm looking nice now. That we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, ammo. Oh, shotgun shells. I actually never knew there was an ammo box back there. That's my first time I actually noticed that. That's why I'm like, oh wow. Costco's customer density is low, surprisingly. Lucky day to shop safe. I know, right? Like, that's funny. Uh, 
Mailbox in that one? No. Mailbox in this one? No. There's a can, but I don't want a can. Mole rat teeth. Alright, I checked the back parts. I didn't see a basement, but that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I just have I'm just not probably deep looking it too well. Fragmentation grenades. That is what I need when you have to th kill some heavy big enemies. Ah. This is 13, so I could take that outfit. I'm actually going to be wearing this suit because I actually look so sick in it. Let me know if you guys want me to change the outfit because I think I look sick in this suit. Tire iron. Let me check the tire iron. Tire iron. 15. One number off. Okay. I'm actually going to use that. And on favor that. Wait, how do I get rid of the heart? Oh, there we go. There we go. Well. This tire iron's 15. And here's the kicker. Three more months of lockdown. Yay, I mean nay. Oh my lord, Corporal. Come on. Red Rocket Truck Discovered. <gasps> Dog meat! Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Dog meat! You look like L.A. Noir. LMAO! Okay, then. Let's stick together. You you actually are right. I kind of look like L.A. Noir. I look like Cole Phelps. Badge 247. I think that was a bad name. Golly, there's so much stuff I'm going to have to sell. What is it, boy? What'd you find? Probably some mole rats most likely coming. Pre-war money? I just now found out pre-war money does not weight you down, so... I'm gonna be collecting a lot of that so I can get more caps. Dog tags? Okay. Another cap stash right here. Bobby pin! Fuck! And vodka originated from, if I'm correct, Russia. I'm gonna look stupid if it didn't not originate from there. Business entries. New equipment installed. Took some wrangling with the head office, but we finally got all the tools we need to machine our own parts. No more having to pay for Covega factory parts the next time they change the spec on a dang fastener. Just take one, we got and trim the excess in down until it fits. LAPD! Sneeze! <coughs> I know what you're talking about, Corporal. That's funny. Rosa Rosta, Rosa Restoration. That Rosa Widow in Sanctuary Hills is restoring an old classic Corvega with her son. Nice woman. Pretty. Kid seems like kind of a brat, but I guess that's the point of her doing this project with him. Anyways, she's doing a heck of a job. I was amazed at how much her and the kid have been able to do on her own. The only reason she even came to me is because the engine is out of her depth. I'm sure we can help her out. Ghost storage. Jim, take care of these barrels before you leave tonight. Spectres are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a longer term solution later. Hey, if nature's going to do us a fa do us fa to favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? There's a cave? I didn't even notice that. There's a cave underneath. So I gotta find it. Friday, October 1st. Replace the brakes in 2045 Fusion Flea Supreme. Wednesday, October 6th. Monthly service on vault van. No major issues with the vehicle, but that rep is an, is an uppy a-hole. Oh, click the same one again. Thursday, October 14th. Began work on a late model motorcycle, pre-atomic, what seemed to be simply 
a sticky throttle turned out to be more serious issue with the cables. They're almost all completely disagreed degraded. We'll replace with platinum parts. Monday, October 18th. Coolant leak in one of those new 2077 Corvega coupes. Bubble top. They don't make them like they used to. Replace the atomic alternator in a 2073 Corvega. So I'm guessing there's a cave. They were there, there's a cave and stuff, and they're and they have been dumping a bunch of stuff in there so they don't get in trouble by OSHA. Get off him! You get him, boy! Yeah, you get him. You teach him his boss. See, I don't get why Dog Me gets so much hate. He's such a good dog. If anyone, everyone put in the chat right now, don't hate Dog Meat. Because everyone gives so much hate towards Dog Meat. Dog Meat's such a good dog, in my honest opinion. I think he's the coolest companion. All right. Another Nuka Cola. Yo. Yo, Wigan. Time to eat this rat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I give it to me. Now, they said there's a cave underneath. Let's find that cave that you talked about. Oh. Oh, this looks sketchy. I'm going to quick save because I don't know how this is going to end up. Quick save. Oh, this is going to be fun. Here we go. Mole Rat Den. Oh, this is terrifying. Thankfully, there's not a Wendigo in this game. There's a lot of stuff down here. Gord. Oh, what's in here? A team. Just getting some more ammo for that pistol. Come back here. Yeah. Yeah, get racked, you stupid mole rats. In my honest opinion, mole rats are the most stupidest creature in Fallout. I hate mole rats. I remember playing um Fallout 3 one for the first time, and I encountered a mole rat, and let me tell you, they are annoying after a while. And yes. I don't like Yes, fragmentation grenade. Go watch. I'm taking the fragmentation grenade, because I'm going to use that in case I need to defend myself with explosives. I'll come back down here later later when I unlock the option to do the junk thing. Like, you know, we're... Oh, 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 back, 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 back. That is radiation, and I don't want to touch that. So I'm going to back away. We'll get that later when we get a power armor. Okay, so that worked out pretty good. We just kicked some uh, mole rats, but oh yes, my favorite drink. Fun fact, fun fact, if you guys want to know, there was a Nuka-Cola Quantum Special Edition drink that Jones did with Bethesda, and it was a nuclear Nuka-Cola, Nuka-Cola, um, themed drink in real life, and I'm not even joking. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what to do. All right. 
All right. Unfortunately, we can't lock this. Lock's really strong. Don't think I can pick this. Lock tight. So we can't lock pick that yet until we get our lock pick skills up. And I don't want any of that because that's not really important to me. Rat balls. Really? Corporal? Really? Come on. All right. There's a baseball bat here. How powerful is that? Baseball bat. Baseball bat. 15 on the... 20. Oh, I guess I'm taking the baseball now. Dude! This is what I mean. Okay. I would I probably need to focus on my strength first. That way, I can have more hitting with the weapon. Because with perception, you get six... You get weapons on accuracy good. And then you get and then intelligence helps you learn more how to lock pick stuff but i'm gonna go in order from strength to perception intelligent endurance intelligent and agility because basically all of them are all at three so yeah you told me about it two years ago oh yeah okay Oh, yeah, I get I get it now. It's been so long since I re heard that quote. Um, Get rid of that weapon. Let me get rid of that weapon because that weapon is... Now, heavy weapons, I'm not going to uh, keep in my inventory because they really take up inventory as much as the next guy. So. Alright, we need to take out our gun because we're going to be dealing with some... Raiders in town. We're gonna be there with some raiders. Strength is also 10% carry capacity. Yes, that is correct. You are correct, Corporal. I didn't. I thought that's also a good thing. You told me that because I didn't think I would uh remember that. Um. Oh, here's a question for y'all. What is your guys' least favorite Fallout enemy? What is your least fa favorite? You could. You could literally tell me whoever it is. Just tell me who it. Tell me who is your least favorite Fallout enemy. <gasps> Yo, bolt action sniper, sweet. And what does ammo does it take? Okay, we're not gonna use that gun right now because we need to save the bullets. I got so much bullets right now. No way I could pick this. It's, too, it's expert, so we can't lock pick that just yet, so. There's a piece of armor in here that I can wear to keep myself protected. Booyah! Oh, frick me. I am not having that right now. How did I miss that? Literally was close to that guy. Whatever. I'm not gonna complain. That guy for the pretty, pretty good mile. Ah! On the balcony, I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser bucket and help us, please. We're com I'm coming. Take your time. I'll take my time getting to you, okay? But I'm coming. Leveled up again. Yo, look at that. Dang, I'm getting better and better, am I? My alerts hate those things. Now I can see why people hate the my alerts because they're annoying. But I think the my alerts are pretty cute. 
I think it's because I love crabs. Crabs, I think, are cool. But that's just me. Though, I can understand why people like don't like the Mylurks for many reasons. So I understand. Mintats buff out. Don't want that. So what I'm going to try to do compared to my la my other streams back in the past is do a lot more, excuse me, more um, um, looking. I want to look more. I want to get more stuff that I could not get because I was being an idiot. So, yeah, so if I start looking around a lot, that is why. I want to do a lot more that I couldn't do. Okay, just a burnt book. Alright. Two couples. That's sad. Um, anything else that needs to be here? I'm just gonna look in this area real quick because you never know what you can miss. Nothing in the trash bin. Alright, nothing up here. So I don't really know... It's kind of cool though, most that Concord is like a small town. There's bobby pins in that because that way we can lockpick better. Workhouse. It's over here. Newsstand. I don't think I've been in this house. Yeah, I don't think I've been- Yeah, I've never been in this house. Uh, bobby pin. Alright. Let's lockpick this bad boy. Well, right off the bat, I broke my first bobby pin. There we go. That's it. Selling for money. Cap stash. Woohoo! Stim packs. I'm with you on that, Corporal. I hate my alerts too. At least Ricky and Corporal have something in common. Company. Common. Blah. Hard to do. How to set. Hard to say stuff here. Why? Why is my tongue twisters coming? Okay, um, I think I've explored everything except for that workhouse, which I need to go take a look at in there, but I need to be real cautious because if I don't do this right, I'm going to die. So I need to be real cautious when I go in that workhouse, so. Um, right here. Let me, let me go ahead. Quick save. Let's go in. I don't know, you tell me. I think I got everything, except for this workhouse, because I didn't see any other buildings lootable. But someone will eventually let me know. Fancy brush. Desk. Metal bucket, a broom. I've already been up here, so. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh! Woo! Made it. We made it across. 38 ammo. 
What's this lady doing here? Men's hats. I've never been in this building before, so this is all new. Well, you don't see that every day. Won't be able to pick this. So I can't pick that just yet. Whoa! Woohoo! I somehow made that! <laughs> Pat myself on the back if I have to. Okay, for real, that's stupid. And I just damaged both of my legs being stupid like that. Okay, so I think that's it though, because I don't see anything else. Let me just heal myself up because I damaged myself. There is a back door. I'm going to take a look at that while I'm at it. Commonwealth. Because I'm just basically trying to look around, make sure I got every single piece that I can get until I can get better. Because then I'm going to go through these old locations, hit them there, hit them, hit, hit them, hit and hit them here and there. There we go. Jeez. All right. Alright, I haven't been over here. But I do think I've been in here. I'm just... I'm thinking of returning to Fallout so I can kill Deathclaws with my explosive shotgun. Four shots under two seconds. Question, is that like a mod or is that like um, a part of the game, Corporal? I'm just wondering. Because, I mean, I don't mind. I like to hear some stories about it. Because, like, I don't... I don't know most of these things. Sony doesn't really have any good mods. By the way, just so you guys know, I'm not playing with no mods. Nothing at all. And you can even ask Ricky here. I told him I'm not playing with no mods at all. And I showed him proof and everything, so... Ah, Porleski Physician's Shelter on a Budget. I love that freaking thing, dude. Um, what's in here? Oh, <gasps> yes! We got a shotgun! Yay! We got a shotgun! Heck yeah, dude! Shotgun! Yeah, yeah! We got a shotgun, boys! I'm still keeping the... I'm probably still gonna keep the. Mm. Nah, frick it. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Well, how many bullets do I have right now on the shotgun? 26. Yeah, I'm gonna worry about getting. I'm, I'm gonna worry about that later. Because right now I'm not trying to keep a shotgun. And then I'm also gonna try to learn how to upgrade stuff. Part of the game. It was either legendary or special weapon for characters. Got the shotgun from Super Munits. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Best keep that in mind for whenever I, uh, for, uh, whenever I, uh, played the game. Another cash cat, cash thing. Novus. There we go. Yes. Glow sighted. I could sell that for money. All right, now I think we're going too far away from the town, so. No, we're not far. We're actually right next to where we need to be, so good enough. All right, we're aim heading this way because we did our part, so let's actually go ahead and help these guys out because they're in danger. Ricky plays with mods and stuff. I just played this. I'm playing this legit. It's, for, it's gonna be it's literally fun playing this legit because like you don't understand you don't know what you're gonna get yourself into oh snap broody oh crowd I'm getting shot at snap inside 
this has to be my favorite this has to be my favorite area because this is based on the t this is based on the revolutionary war Get wrecked! Wait, can I actually, uh... Not want that. Can I actually wear that? Oh no, I still can't. Frick me. I wish they would make it a way where you I wish they would have made it a way where you could wear some armor, even with some clothing you have on. The British are coming. Really? Corporal, a Garfield reference? Uh, Odie. Odie. No, 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 no. Don't do the American thing. The British are coming. The British are coming. <laughs> what the frick, Corporal? Ugh. Someone had a bad day. I'm also trying to. S oh, crud. Never mind. You can trust me. You're still alive? Christ. Stim pack. Woo. Oh, snap. Right away. Nice. More ammo. Nice. I should have learned more American history. <laughs> I should learn more American history. I would. If you t take it from me, Corporal, I want you to. Come on. Come on. Die, dude. Okay, I got how many caps do I have right now? 129. Not bad on my first game. I personally think you should, Corporal. You should learn more American history because it's real fun and it's really interesting. So, I recommend you learn some more American history. Where am I going? Guess I'm going on the edge of glory. Oh no, no. Well, oh well, that didn't work out. Could have made it, but I'm failed. No more British occupation. I failed that miserably. I'm guessing, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm guessing we have to go through this way. Let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. Stop being such a fucking pansy. We hold out for the others, like we're supposed to. What are you, deaf? Somebody's out there shooting the place up. Time to reel them in. Lucky here. Yeah, I just shot your buddy. Yep. I just shot your buddy. All right, I'm heading out. All right, Corporal, take care, buddy. Do me a favor, drink some uh, tea while you're out. Get it? Is that, because it's, okay, never mind. This is literally one of the sickest, like, designs in the game, except for this, because obviously we ain't ever gonna have the uh, Fallout thing, but that and that, these two like things right here that's like the sickest design I've seen of, in any video game if you want my honest opinion wait what does the one I have carry 34s and I got uh, I mean not 34s it carries 38 so 308 alright we're heading up the stairs let's reload our gun 
over there. Who's in? He didn't see me. That's cool. Yo, you jerk. Good job, dog meat. Thanks for the teamwork. Silver spoon. Nothing in there. Free war money. I'm going to take that so that way I can sell it for caps. Now I know it doesn't have any weight. Alright. Hell yeah. Our second comic book of the day. And I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Glad to help. Oh, that ain't it. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. God damn it. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. I feel bad for him for uh preston because he had to go through a lot i felt so bad sorry sounds rough huh. thanks nah, that ain't it's good it. to meet someone who really cares anyway we figured concord would be a safe place to settle those raiders proved us wrong God damn it. but well we do have one idea one good idea can make all the difference sturgis tell him there's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Definitely. Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC, a standardized fusion core, your high-grade long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Sure. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. All right. Careful, kid. There we go. First bubblehead of the fine, dude. I can't believe it. What's going on? Are we getting out of here? I'm just looking around, see if I can find anything else worth finding. Let me see if there's anything back here. Pre war money back here. Anti hairbrush. into the commonwealth which we ain't going there yet we have to uh continue 
continuously uh, wait till we get to the basement. All right, here we go. Either way you could do it is like lock picking, or you can just hack it. Either one of the two you want to do, you can do a hacking, you can lock pick, you can do one of the two. All right, that's not it. Here's quest. Nope. Ah, dang it, I'm gonna fail this. That's a trick if you do if you mess up, which I hate the hacking in this game. Height two. Ah, freaking lockdown! I was so close. It was set in ten seconds. Dang on it! I should have stopped right as soon as I hit the last square. But I'm just like I'm trying to get this. That's it. There we go. Heck yeah. I'll lock security gate. Thank you. Woo! Here we go. We got the fusion core. Let's do this. Let's rack some raiders butt, dude. I just ran into some mole rats. Really? You're playing- What Fallout game are you playing right now that you ran into some mole rats? Okay, so we're going up the stairs. And we're gonna go over the other way that we just went through. I wanna make sure my my subtitles are on. Display. Yes, all subtitles are on, because I wanna make sure every single subtitle thing is on so that way you guys can read you can listen to the recording that is about to be popping up. Fallout 4. Oh that's cool, Ricky. Criminy. Uh, excuse me. There are some caps right here. Alright, let's play. Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck, and God bless America. Or what's left of it. Yeah, th that is like, that's like one of my uh, favorite recordings. Is that right there? Oh baby, here we go. Oh mama, this. Up here. Boss, oh, we got somebody up here. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past my boys. I give you that. Oh, I got places to be. They're just getting a 
Oh, I know what's about to come out, and I'm not looking forward to it. Mr. Defty, hello buddy, when was the last time we spoke? Oh man, I remember the first time I encountered him, he was the reason why I only oh, died so many times. Oh, you... Hey! Oh, snap! Oh, crud! I'm stuck! I can't move! Dude! I can't move! Oh my god, I was getting stuck in the corner. What happened to the weapon I just picked up? Minigun. There! Finally died. Woo! I almost got my butt handed to him. I gotta tell you, dude, that was not fun. That was not cool by him. Woo! We did it! I think we killed every one of them. Oh, wait, no, never mind. There's one guy left that we gotta take care of. I'll just take her care of him with my pistol. I'm gonna take care of him with my pistol and see if that works. Oh, you did. Oh, I see it. He's dead. Oh. Woo! -hoo! That's what you call work there. Woohoo! He's dead. Take it easy, Mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. All right, now we gotta go talk to Preston and see. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Feelings mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here, it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny. Isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. Okay. I'm listening. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I'm listening. Look, kid. I know how I sound. The sight, it's weird. And it ain't always clear. But your son's out there. 
And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth, Diamond City, the biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No, Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk, it's gonna kill you. Oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. Which I don't get why she tells you to get some like stuff for her. And yet you, and yet you just don't want her to die and stuff or however it goes. Because if you give it to her, Cosworth, I think, Cosworth and Preston don't like what you do when you do that, so. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. Like, I so wish there was a thing they could have just added to where they didn't, they didn't care. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? it oh, hold on, hold on. Person. Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So, Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Oh, Come it definitely... Come it's time to go. Oh, okay. RC is like the rudest one out of the group, like, dang. Hold on to that power armor now. Look at the price we paid to get this far. Let's move out. I'll take point. <laughs> Stay close, everyone. We're right behind you, boss. <laughs> And I'm just, and you gotta walk with these guys until they get to the destination. And I hope that glitch doesn't happen where Preston will just like suddenly stop moving. There's this glitch. I don't know if anyone's encountered, but it's just me. For some reason, Preston will stop moving, and you have to f walk far away until he s goes back to moving. I don't know. If that's just I've me. Seen one of these things up close. I'm very glad it's already dead. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the one who had to fight it just so you guys can move. Let me set up my mic so you guys can see it. There we go. Well, I was the one who had to fight the daggum thing. You should be thankful you didn't have to fight it. See, that's what I mean. He gets stuck on an object, and it's really annoying when he gets stuck like that. Just don't understand why they made it like that to where he gets stuck on an object. But that's just beyond me. Because they mainly focus on Fallout 76. But I wish they could have focused on Fallout 4 and fixed up most of the bugs on console. Like, Long here... No, look, see, this is what I mean. Long is now... St there he goes. How long have I been streaming for? We're in 18 minutes. Um, what would that mean on a... say I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> Where are we going, Marcy? Don't worry, don't stay with me. So it's one hour. Oh, okay. I can't believe we're going to Sanctuary just because Mr. Murphy had a vision.
See, that's the thing. I really wish they would bring back the thing where you you could check your time and whenever how long you've been streaming because now it's like 180 minutes. It's like, what is that supposed to mean? And I have to look it up on Google because it's like, hello. But anyways. that. I think I just found my new vacation home. Your idea of heaven, eh, Sturgis? Could be some good salvage in there. Let's get to Sanctuary first, though. I think we're close. Yeah, so we're gonna... And he's stuck in another daggum object. Oh, Preston! This is like the one mission I do not like because Preston gets stuck in like objects and it's like I wish they would have fixed something about it or something like that. Yeah, the battery is going to be not aimed soon on well the fusion core is going to die soon. Good thing I'll be parking this whenever I go to uh sanctuary. I was so I won't lie though, I was so close to dying. I don't understand why my favorite well, thing wasn't working. It's the monument to the original Minutemen. I knew that was somewhere around Concord. That means this right here must be the old North Bridge. Where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss. But I'm glad you're happy about it. <sighs> no one will not never know the history of that. No one will never know. Okay. Preston should be able to talk to me now. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here... Over 200 years ago, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help we can get. All right, let me go ahead and uh, level up. Endurance. Nice. 
Endurance is up to four. Wait. Huh? Oh, snap. I clicked the wrong one. Oh, no. I clicked the right one. Why is perception f five? I'm so confused. Okay. Perception is like five for some reason. I don't know how that's possible. Okay. Oh, God. I thought the game was going to crash. I was like, no. Please stop. Don't. That's what I mean. The game thinks it's going to crash. And... So, we can now start crafting the house. What I'm going to do, because I don't have much time to do that much of the stream, because I've been streaming for the past two hours, and I'm going to stream probably tomorrow, and stuff, is what I'm going to do is... I already know how to work out the little, uh... I'm going to start scrapping most of the stuff in this house that I'm in. That way... That way we can use... That way all this junk can be... This is where I'm going to be building the new house. This be like a storage room of some sort. I'll figure it out. I did perception endurance. Strength. I can't remember. Let's do intelligence. I can't remember the most of the rest of it. Okay, let me go ahead and scrap these let bit. do is I'm gonna set my power armor right in this room because this might be like my power armor storage for now until I can until I can build a better one so for now that will do for this live stream oh my god Peter Diamond's little journey of him getting himself set up finding new people and now a grain sanctuary in the next live stream we are going to have Peter Diamond uh, work on the uh, Work on Sanctuary and help out the uh, Minuteman with some uh, jobs, so that way they can, uh, so that way they can uh, finally be powerful enough to fight against any enemies in the world. So, anyways, you guys, that will do for this stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, hit like and subscribe to join the Blue Jay Army, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Blue Jay Player out. Bye, y'all.